Okay, hello math fans. This is actually the second day of applications using systems of equations. And if you notice, um, or as you will notice, for all the next four problems, they are all going to be based on the perimeter of a rectangle. Okay, so a couple things we have to recognize or we have to understand. You might have seen these equations before, but the perimeter of a rectangle, the perimeter is twice the length plus twice the width which makes sense because if I draw a rectangle and this is the width and the width and the length and the length you all know that the perimeter of a rectangle is the distance around the rectangle so it's two of the L's and two of the W's that's why it's two, two L and two W that's the perimeter so that's a really important equation okay um, alright so let's read the uh, um, number six the length of a rectangle is six more than four times the width alright so I I basically need to come up with an equation based on that first sentence the length of the rectangle is first of all is in math is equals so if we define our variables L is the length and W equals the width those are pretty pretty standard okay so the length is six more than four times the width. Now I know some of you want to write it this way. You want to write it as L is equal to six more, six plus four W. I don't want you to write it that way. What I want you to do is almost like when we're writing a uh, slope intercept form, I want you to write the variable first. The reason I want you to write the variable first, so I want you to write it this way, four W plus six and some of you are saying well, wait a second it's the exact same thing what's the difference why are you getting being so picky because when we get into subtraction if I said the length of a rectangle is six less than four times the width this is what I get I get sick people doing this six less than four times the width and that's not correct that's four w less six if I said if I wanted six less than four times the width it's six less than four times the width. So if you always put the variable first, you can't get it wrong. If you if you put the variable second, there's a good chance that when it subtraction you're going to put the variable in the wrong place and you're going to get the wrong answer. So I require you guys to put the variable first when you come up with these equations. All right. So here's our first equation right here. Our second equation is just the perimeter because it even tells you the perimeter is 232. So it's 2L plus 2W. You are always going to write 2L plus 2W because that's what the perimeter equation is. And that equals 232. Very simple. Very simple. Two equations. The first one is a little more difficult because you have to kind of think a little bit um, how to put it from um, English into math. Um, but the second one is a piece of cake because it's basically the perimeter formula. Now as we uh, the first set of examples I did um, using the elimination method this is definitely set up for substitution method because the variables already solved that's the whole point of learning both substitution and elimination if a variable is already solved you want to use substitution if the variable is not solved and you just have them on both sides numbers on one side and variables on the other you definitely want to use elimination so here I'm going to use substitution and of course that L is substituted into there so it's 2 times L which is 4W plus 6 so that's the 2L plus 2W equals 232 okay that's there it is because that's our this is our 2L plus 2W equals 232 that's from the perimeter formula okay then make sure you distribute that 2 to both terms don't forget both terms so it's 8w plus 12 plus 2w equals 232. Combine like terms. So 10w plus 12 equals 232. Subtract 12 from both sides. So 10w equals 220. Divide by 10 and W is equal to 22. That was pretty mellow. And then of course you 
definitely want to plug it into that first equation. Remember in substitution, there's one variable that's already solved, so why would you plug it into the second equation where you have to do so much more work? So L is equal to 4W or 4 times 22 plus 6. So L is equal to 88 plus 6 or L is equal to 94. Okay, and then of course let's look at our our units. Our units are in miles, so the length is equal to 94 miles, and the width is equal to 22 miles. So your points are going to be the first point is going to be from defining the variable. The second point is going to be coming up with the equation, uh, the two equations. Um, the third and fourth point are going to come from solving. And then the fifth point is going to be from putting it into English and telling me what the length is and width is and to make sure you have your units. Do not forget your units. Units are really important. Okay. So let's try the next one here. Number seven. A rectangle has a perimeter of 58 feet. The length is 14 more than twice the width. Find the length and the width. All right, so obviously the first thing we're going to do is L equals length, W equals width. Very easy, one point. Can't get any easier than that for getting one point. Okay, so let's actually read the equation. It says the length is, so L equals 14 more than twice the width. Now remember, I told you keep the variable first. So twice the width just means 2W. It's just multiplication. And it's 14 more. More is, more means plus. Okay, if it was 14 less, it would be minus. So it's 2W plus 14. And then of course our general equation for perimeter, that's easy. It's twice the length plus twice the width is equal to the perimeter, which in this case is 58 feet, or 58. Very simple. So now we have our L solved here. We substitute it into there. You have two times parentheses, and that's what L. L is 2W plus 14. plus 2w, because there it is, 2l plus, so 2l plus 2w, and that's equal to 58. So make sure you distribute to both terms, so you get 4w plus 28 uh, plus 2w equals 58. So I get 6w plus 28 equals 58. You can subtract 28 from both sides. I'm going to bring it up to here then. We're running out of room. So 6w is equal to 30. Divide both sides by 6. w equals 5. All right, and then we substitute it right into there, that W. So L is equal to 2 times 5, which is W, plus 14. So L is equal to 10 plus 14. L is equal to 24. So my answers are the length is equal to 24, and our units are feet, 24 feet. And the width is equal to 5 feet. That's it. Pretty simple. Okay, you got two more here. Okay, a rectangle has a perimeter of 36 feet. The width is 6 less than the length. All right, so L equals... 
L equals length and W equals width. And by the way, make sure you always use a capital L. If you use a small L, it looks like a 1 and it gets complicated. Alright, so here's our equation. The width is 6 less than the length. Remember I told you, I always put that variable first. So the width is 6 less than the length. So put that variable first, L, and then it's 6 less than that, minus 6. Because if you would have written W is equal to 6 minus L, that's saying length, take, the way, take away the length from 6. That doesn't make sense. It's, you're taking away 6 from the length, not the length from 6. Okay. So that's your equation. Then, of course, your perimeter equation, 2L plus 2W equals 36. Very simple. And then we're taking that W and we're plugging it into there. So we get 2L plus 2, and W is L minus 6 equals 36. So 2L, and then distribute to both terms, plus 2L minus 12 equals 36. Combine like terms, so 4L minus 12 equals 36. Add 12 to both sides, so 4L is equal to 48. Divide by 4, so L is equal to 12. And then, simple enough, plug that into that one. So W is equal to 12 minus 6, so W equals 6. So there you go, the length equals 12, and our units are feet, and the width is 6 feet. And that's our answer. Pretty straightforward. Okay, last problem. Very good. And this is getting pretty quick here. Okay, so um, L equals length. W equals width. So the first one is the length is 3 less than twice the width. So remember, the variable goes first. So length is 3 less than twice the width. Well, twice the width is 2W. And if it's 3 less, we subtract 3. So 3 less than twice the width. And we have 2L plus 2W is equal to 30. Okay, so we just do a little substitution in there. So 2 times 2W minus 3 plus 2W equals 30. So 4W minus 6 plus 2W equals 30. Combine like terms, so 6w minus 6 equals 30. Add 6 to both sides. 6w is equal to 36. And divide both sides by 6. So w is equal to 6. And we just substitute that back into there. So l is equal to 2 times 6 minus 3. L is equal to 12 minus 3, or L equals 9. Okay, and then in English, uh, the length equals 9 feet, and the width equals 6 feet. And that's it. So those are perimeter problems. Those are really pretty easy, and uh, that's it. That's it for this uh, video. Anyway, Goodbye, math fans.